Well, a little bit more on communications. Because it is quite important. And it's, it's just difficult to get people out of the rut of relying on the communications systems that they are comfortable with when uh, they don't understand the technology behind it. So we've got, uh, okay, we, you know, I've talked about cell phones. Um, do not rely on cell phones. They are going to be probably the first thing to break down in any kind of regional disaster. As I mentioned, the uh, then people think maybe they'll get fancy and they go with sat phones. Um, sat phones are a wonder in many situations where you don't have communications infrastructure, but you need open country. Even something as simple as tree foliage can negatively affect your ability to complete a sat phone call. So, um, yes, it's a possibility, but think about your situation and consider who you are going to call. Um, if you are calling in your local people, their phone line systems are all going to be uh, problematic as well. Um, oh, yeah, landlines. Um, for many years, I told my friends to, you know, not get rid of their landlines. Everybody's going to cell phones these days. Uh, but to have landlines because they are more reliable. Um, if you have a landline phone, do not get rid of it. Because seemingly they aren't installing anymore. Um, when you get a landline, a home phone, these days, <coughs> it is not a dedicated twisted pair uh, cable anymore. It is a part of your internet and cable TV package. So it's a, a subset of that network and that's what you're gonna get in terms of uh, coverage. So that can be problematic as well. Now the uh, you know, and all of this stuff, and I'm talking about telephones, and everybody's thinking, oh, well, you know, no problem. We'll just use the internet. Well, the internet's probably going to be down, too. I mean, um, it's all coming from the same provider. And it is... Uh, it's extremely difficult to avoid the single point of failure in your communication systems. And, and you need to do that in business continuity planning. And uh, there is an instructive tale from uh, the Hillsborough Fire. Um, this was a, a fire in, of a telephone switching substation in Chicago. Um, all kinds of uh, cautionary tales come out of that, um, uh, such as the fact that the guy who was sent to find out what the problem was uh, got there, found the place on fire, pulled out his cell phone to alert somebody, and that was when they realized that all the cell phone service in the Chicago area went through that one substation. So it didn't matter whether he could get a channel or not. 
uh, that call was not going to go through to anybody who could do anything about it. Uh, but the uh, there was a company in Chicago who had made very specific plans in terms of uh, continuity um, and particularly with regard to communications. And they had gone to two separate communications companies and had contracts with both of them so that they had redundancy in terms of the company. And they specifically wrote into the contract that the uh, companies were not allowed to use the same cable because an awful lot of them did. People were subselling uh, uh, communications off the same cables. Um, so, you know, they, they specified in their contract. And yes, they had coverage from two different companies on two different cable trunks both of which went through the vault at the Hillsborough switching station. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we need to be really careful with communications. Um, okay, uh, did I finish about the Internet? Uh, well, yeah, um, basically, you know, all of the, the wonderful things that, you know, voice over IP and... Uh, video chats and, and all those other types of things, um, if the communications provider, who probably provides both uh, your telephone service and your internet service, and possibly also your cell phone service, um, goes down, then, then everything goes down. So again, regional disaster, um, you're gonna have to think of other things. So some people, again, uh, decide to get fancy and they go for radios. If you understand radio, okay, fine. But most people don't. Most people don't understand what you need, how far you can communicate. Um, whether, in fact, you can communicate with somebody inside a building from the outside of the building. Um, how far you can go in open country, how far you can go in a city where you've got towers of concrete and metal uh, all over the place. You, um, in, in Vancouver, um, we had some pretty good radio service. Uh, as long as you could see the North Shore Mountains. Well, seeing as how you can see the North Shore Mountains from pretty much everywhere in Vancouver, that's, that's all to the good. But you had to be able to do that because the repeater tower, to be able to communicate with somebody uh, at you know, really any distance in Vancouver, had to go t through the repeater tower on the North Shore. Um, you know, as, as long as you could see the North Shore Mountains, you were fine. Uh, but if you could not reach the repeater, then basically you could not communicate with the, the people you needed to communicate with going east and west up the valley. So, uh, you know, all kinds of things to consider in terms of of communications and what you have to do with regard to communications in the event of a disaster.